Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework today. We are going to install Groot Development Present Advanced Paycheck and Salary Management System. So first of all, you need to visit their official website. I'll provide you the link in description after reaching to the website. We'll get multiple tabs at there. You need to click on escrow script and you can find as one paycheck and salary management system. Just click on here. Make sure to log in with the CFX ID. After that, you can find the Groot Paycheck System has some special features, like it has special salary management and Groot Paycheck Management, so you don't need to worry about that. Also, it has special paycheck collection menu. Also, it supports multiple theme configurations, and also it works on QB Core, ESX, and QBox. Also, if you are having any custom code, it will work on that. It has an accumulated paycheck mode that's a special feature. I'll also explain it when I am installing the script after that. You can get a special boss menu for the paycheck management, so you can directly pause someone's salary, so you can give the penalty to not collecting the salary, or any reason you can directly get it. Also, you can get the automatic cleanup, so you don't need to worry about that. You can see the proper previews are there, but supports the Discordable system, so everything is listed on your Discord server. Now click on Add to Basket after adding to the basket, Proceed to checkout, then complete your payment after completing your payment. The script will be directly received on your Keymaster ID. Here you can see we have the script now. Click on download and save it to your computer. After that, open the file, click on extract. Here, copy the file and paste your main server directory. After that, open the file. You can find multiple files are there. So first of all, you need to open the readme section. Now you can find the Discord that they are having if you are having any type of issues or error. You can directly join the Discord server. Also, the documentations are provided. So I'll show you the documentation here. You can see the proper documentation for the Groot Paycheck System and Salary Management. So first of all, you need to, of course, download the resources, then unzip it and paste it to your main server directory. After that, it support multiple frameworks, QB Core, QBox, ESX, also, it supports Ox and QB Target. It has some dependencies with Ox MySQL. Also, if you are having the notification, you can directly use that. It they'll already provided the link on the site. It's optional. You can use their own notification without an issue after that. It supports automatic database injections. You can directly place the script onto your server and run it. It will automatically use the auto implantation of SQL and put the SQL into your database. You can also disable that features and you can also manually add the SQLs if you want. I'll show you that also after that, it supports multiple framework paycheck systems, so you need to configure them as for your handbook. As I am using the QB core, I'll configure it from a cubicle section. So I'll just go to the QB core server, then player.lua. Then you need to search this paycheck interval. Then you need to hash this out here. You can see there, you can see the paycheck interval. You need to just have this out and you can see we turn it off now. Close this file now. That's it, we don't need to change anything. And that in the documentation also you can find the exports. If you are using any custom script, you can directly add that through the export. You can see the salary pause, add paycheck. Every type of exports are already provided. Also, you will get the proper guide for accumulated paychecks. Salary Provisions and Salary Approval Systems. I'll show you everything with detailed installations. You can also get the preview of the configuration with the proper system of police. Now I'll just close the documentation and I'll show you the script here. You can see the script here. You can find the SQL as I am using the automatic injections of SQL. I don't need to add it manually for that open the SRC file. Here you can find multiple folders. Go to the shared section. Here you can find the two configurations. First is the configured flow. Second is the server dot configuration. Slow open the configuration dot Lua. Here you can find the automatic SQL importation. If you are using or adding database by your own, you can directly disable it. Also make sure to enable the check for updates. It will automatically check for the update for this latest version of script. After that, you can find the system settings. It supports multiple languages, so you don't need to worry about that. Here you can see the multiple languages are there. Also, you can find the debug system. If you don't know what you are doing, don't turn it on. 
If you are having any type of error or any bugs, you can turn it on the debug system and find out what's the exactly problem. Also, you can find the themes. You can find multiple themes. Are there, I'll just go for the default one to show you the basics after that. You can find the menu system through the text UI, also target, and you can add your own custom opening system through that triggers or exports. That I showed you previously, I will go for the target system because it supports Ox and QB target, so you don't have to worry about that. After that, you can find the currency and date and month format. You can change the format as you want. Also, you can find the collect. You can find the collect all button. From the configuration, you can also disable the button based on the UI. It will provide you a special button to collect all your paycheck in single click. You can disable the feature if you want. Also, after that, you can find the all payment types in society or default for removing the bank or anything like that. I'll just leave it as default to show you what is the default working principles are there. You can configure it if you are having a society account. After that, you can find the display promotion. You can directly promotion. You can directly give the promotion to the display. If you are having promoted, it will show you the hint of the promotion. After that, you can delete the collected paycheck after every restart or the database. It will automatically erase the paychecks. Make sure if you are, if you want to enable it, you can directly enable it based on the sections. After that, you can enable the bonus paycheck system. If you enable it, it will give the players a bonus manually. I'll just make it enable to show you the bonus system. After that, you can find the text UI configuration. As we are not doing the text UI, Still, if you're having the text UI, you can directly configure it. As it's defaultly configured with the OS lib, also you can configure the notifications. I'll just go for the aux lib notification. As I am using the aux lib and just go for the aux lib one, also you can use the QB ESX or anything as you want. After that, you can find the salary approval system without approving your salary. The salary could not be credited to your account. You can directly enable it or this after that, you can find the paycheck intervals. You can directly change it based on the configuration. If you call legal in seven minutes, you can directly configure it based on the server configuration. After that, you can find the society payouts. It will automatically select the paycheck from the society account. Means if you are a boss or if you are a chief on your job, you will directly enable the society system that I showed you previously. You can directly enable it it will automatically deduct the money from your society account and credit it to the player, account who is employed after that. If you are using the duty system, you can use the script for integrating each of the scripts properly. As I am not using that, I'll just leave it as for after that. You can find the accumulation, one of the important features that we are having. It offers you a special accumulation interval system. If you are doing any job and if you are getting any paychecks, it will not give you the option to collect until you will work one hour. You can also configure that. You can set it as 30 minutes or 20 minutes. After one hour, you will get the accumulations. Like if you will work more than one hour, you will get to collect your proper paycheck. I'll just enable the system for now to show you the accumulation systems are working. Also, you can find the icon for the target and boss target system. After that, you can find the jobs and you can find the unemployed jobs and also money type that should be on bank system. After that, you can find the world fair check. You can give the unemployed player as a $50 paycheck. You can also configure that after that. You can find the full each grade system. You can directly provide a separate grade system for the pulley. And here you can see the proper off duty salary and progressions also. Like as a grade zero official joint, they will get only $1,000. And if he is off duty, he'll get only $100, not $1,000. Also, it provides you a special provision system. If the player worked more than five hours as a solo cadet, it will get 10% extra in their salary as like an increment section. You can also configure everything on the configuration that I am showing it. It's a pretty good system and pretty new system. So it increases player retention into your server. And most unique thing that I have ever seen after that, you can also configure it with the multiple jobs. Then you can find the paycheck settings. You can directly set the paycheck selections as for the locations or the command as it's selected to location. I'll leave it as a location system. You can also do the command system for the using the paycheck bossman. Here you can find the job permission is level three. 
I'll just leave it at level three. Same goes to the other commands. You can find the paycheck bossman command. After that, you can find the user. From this PED, you can collect the paycheck. That's it. Now close the basic configurations. It has a lot of configuration that you expect after that. You can find the Discord log setting. It is the proper anti-cheat and Discord webhook combination. So if you are using the Discord configuration, you will get each of details at the pick point. And as for now, I am not adding the paycheck for the Discord log, but I'll show you in my proper demonstration later. After now, close the paycheck system. Close the server configuration.lua, where you can find the theme folder. Open the theme.lua. You can directly customize your own theme and add it without any issues at the configurations. So you don't need to worry about that. Add is as it's defaultly configured with the G blue because it's the default one and configure it based on the configuration that you are having after that you can find the utilities. You can find the global.lua. It's the log section. You don't need to worry about that. After that here, you can find multiple folders and sections for the every systems that you are having. So after that, open the web sections here. You can find the indexes for the CSS. You can also change anything from the CS. After that, open the bridge section here. You can find the all framework configuration still. If you are having standalone version, you can still use that without any issues. So that's it. Now close the file and copy it and paste it to main server directory. Makes it to follow their variations in the Discord after that. Now let's see how the scripts works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game. An advanced paycheck system is working properly without any issue. So first of all, you need to get the police job for checking the paycheck. As you can see, I am already having the police job and I am on duty also. So for accessing the boss menu, you need to have the highest rank that you selected on your configuration as I am selecting it to level three. So I can access my boss menu here, you can see. I'll just open my paycheck boss menu. Here you can see I have already added one to show you this function. So first of all, I'll add myself. Here you can see there is the add button. Just click on it. Now we can directly search the player name that you want to add on the paycheck system. Just like I am searching it, my character ID. Here you can see my details are there. Just click on add. Here you can see it's added. You can see first of all, it's the reduction of the percentage. Here you can see the post salary option. And third is the penalty duration. Also, you can provide the penalty reason. So first of all, I'll show you and explain everything you can directly give a player penalty that he's or inactive or anything. Any reason, it's depend on the RP situation. Also, you can directly hold their salary. If you turn it on, the player will not receive any paycheck until I'll turn it on. Also, you can directly reduce the player's salary. Based on the percentage like 10, you can directly reduce it and you can directly click on update, it will update it automatically. Also, you can provide the region for that. And one more thing, you can also give them a bonus. You can see the button of issue bonus. Just click on here. You can directly add the amount, like you can also add five or the 50. Also, you can directly add the quick buttons. Here you can see, you can directly add it 8,000 as a bonus. I'll just give the 8,000 as a bonus to show you the working principle. And I'll just remove the post salary for now. Same goes to the deduction also and update it here. You can see it's updated now whenever my salary is updated and it's came. I'll directly show you the salary system for that. We need to go to the big bank, also known as the Pacific Bank. Here you can see my salaries came now. I need to go to the bank to withdraw my salary. Also, you are having multiple options. Like you can directly enable the option of player requesting to withdraw their money or the paychecks. Amount here, you can see I just enabled it. Here, you can see it's the bonus amount that we give the player. We can directly collect it through bank or cash anything. I'll just go for the cash and of course I'll go and enter the amount. Here, you can see it's added into my inventory. You can see the money because the system I enabled is verification, also a proper holding systems for the player. We cannot collect our money or paycheck until I approve it. So first of all, we need to approve it from my paycheck boss menu. So I'll just show it back to you. So here you can see, here is the pause payment that we pause because if I approve the payment, the player will get there. Amount into their paycheck systems, I'll just go for and approve it. Here you can see I approved it. Now player can directly withdraw their paycheck amount. You can also disable it or enable it based on the selections. Also, you can directly trigger or collect every log system based on their duty system. 
You can directly integrate with this script without any issue. So for that, you need to purchase the different script. Also, we can directly track the hourly based paycheck collection. For that, you need to have their duty system. I'll suggest you to buy it. I'll also provide you a detailed installation after this video. I'll make one more video about this system and I'll show you everything. So here you can see we are at the bank. Now we'll just open the bank. Here you can see now we can collect the 5,900 amount. Here you can see we collected it. You can see the money is withdrawn. And here you can see the logs are also there. You can see collection logs. And also you can directly collect everything by clicking on collect all. I'll show you that also. For that I need to wait for some time. Also, you can directly filter it. If you not collected anything, you can directly filter it through the paycheck records. So I'll just fast forward the video and wait some time to show you collect all button. So here you can see the payments and I'll provide some bonus to show you the collect all button. So just click on collect all, then select the method. I'll just select bank and click on collect all. Here you can see everything is collected into my bank account. Here you can see. Also, you can directly set the penalty to paycheck that you are receiving. I'll show you the penalty also. For that, I need to go to my boss man interaction that I'll show you previously and provide the penalty of 10 so it will directly decrease the salary by 10. Also, you can directly pause them that I told you previously here. You can see, I'll just select it to 10 and update it and we'll wait for the next salary come also. You can see the payment that I need to approve it. You can directly show the logs. Also, also you can, the logs will be deleted after every server restart. Now here you can see the price of my paycheck was dropped. Like previously, I am receiving $1,400, but I am receiving now $1,200. Here you can see $1,200 is reduced. I will just approve it. So I can directly withdraw it. Also, you can directly pause the salary and update it. Now you don't receive any type of salary. So everything is working properly without any issue still. If you are having any type of issue, you can join their Discord server. I'll provide you the link in description. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Also, the next video is coming for that duty system that's integrated with this paycheck system. So I'll suggest you to see the video also so you can directly integrate both of them without any issue. And before going, I'll show you the Discord log also. So here you can see we are having three categories. First is the paycheck. Second is the paycheck collect and third is the add or remove option. You can see every logs are detailed and provided separately so you can do it easily and everything is noted on your discord. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.